Howdy ho guys and gals, I'm Jeff King. Welcome back to The Den of Tools. And today we are talking about toolbox cubes, whatever you want to call them. Stuff like this thing here. This, every Black Friday, these become a huge issue. They're about $99 on average as the sale price. Some a little bit more, a little, some maybe a tiny bit less. But basically, they're a great budget box uh, of tools. In fact, I gave out a couple of these last year for Christmas to some people who needed some tools. Boy, were they thrilled. They absolutely loved them. I've had a couple of these sets to play around with and done some stuff with them. They're not bad toolboxes. They're great as emergency kits. They're great as lender kits. They're great as travel boxes. If you got the room to storm, that kind of stuff. So a lot of you reached out to me and said, Hey, what's going to be the best bang for the buck this year? So we're going to jump into it. Now, this is not the one I'm saying is the best bang for the buck. I'm kind of sitting this as a baseline. This is what I like to call my first apartment tool kit. This is the kind of thing you get that basically, at least you've got the bare minimum kind of stuff, <laughs> the literally bare minimum. You got your hammer, you've got a couple wrenches in there, you've got a few sockets, you got a couple wrenches, a tape measure. This is for your basic, just getting started, the Band-Aid kind of stuff. But let's jump into some of the real sets. This, this will run you $62. Okay, and this is the first cube we talked about. This is the Cobalt over at Lowe's 232 piece standard SAE and metric tool set. And you're gonna get a lot. Now, the question often with these boxes is how much filler is there? And there's gonna always be a decent amount of filler in most of these boxes. So let's take a look at what's actually in the box. And here you get, you're gonna get uh, five of the, uh, the mini screwdrivers. You're gonna get a one bit driver. Uh, you're going to get three of their 90 tooth ratchets. Now these are not their pro 90 ratchets. There's a separate box for that. And let's take a look at that one. This one's $99. The other box is well, $99. This one's 227 pieces versus 232 pieces. The real, the only difference I can find is that this one's got the five mini screwdrivers and that this one does not, but this one does come with the three of the pro 90 ratchets. So a better greater ratchets. Now this does come in a box. I know they don't show the box until you get further down here, but if you look in the box, in fact, if you look here and you go back and you look at the other one, there's the same picture on that one there. And we go back and forth. You can see the top of the lid there is exactly the same uh, or, or pretty close to the same, I think. It might be exact one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it looks like it's the same box, on, at least on the lid. Most of the drawers are the same. The big difference is this has got the, the screwdrivers right there. This one does not, and instead you get the uh, the higher tier ratchets with that. So your choice, either way, $99. I got to say, I think the Cobalt Box is one of the best choices out there, but there may be something else you want to go for, and there's something else I actually did choose for myself that's different this year than one of these boxes, but I had a specific reason. Let's We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Now, over at Home Depot, as we've seen with the big Black Friday sale that's already started this weekend, we've got the Husky Box. Of course, that box is on sale right now for $99, just like all the other ones. This is a 270 piece. And what I love about Husky is they tell you exactly what all you're getting in here. Uh, let me get back to it there. You're getting three of their ratchets, 95 of their sockets, 32 of the deep sockets, 21 specialty sockets, four extensions, 14 combo wrenches. That's pretty nice. And then 101 of the other tools. And that's your filler. And, you know... Uh, it's it's easy to say that, hey, and I, I've been the first one to say, like, I hate filler and stuff like this. But if you're getting it as an emergency box, as a truck box, something to take with you on trips and stuff like that, that filler may save your life. So it, it has a time and a place. Now, the one thing I didn't mention on the, on the Husky boxes, and it's the true on this one, is that in most of these sets, it's kind of weird. Your smaller shallow sockets are going to be six point. Your deep sockets are going to be six point. Your larger shallows are going to be 12 point. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to make accommodations for people who might need a 12 point socket. I don't know why that's 12 point in, in the large shallows. It's just the way it is with most of these sets. Next up, we've got Stanley. Stanley's got a 201 piece set here. It's probably not the best set. It's a different form factor. You're getting more of the briefcase kind of style. It's 90, it's a hundred bucks, $99, 97 I do like that they're impacts kind of stuff. Maybe you throw an impact driver in the, in the car with you. If you're doing this as a truck box, uh, that's kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of the black anodized uh, ratchets and stuff, but this is, this is an older set. It's been around a while. It's not a terrible set, but for a hundred bucks, 
Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll compare it to the other ones. Maybe we'll talk about the end. Maybe you guys should tell us which one you guys think is the best out of these sets. All right, we go back. We got another My First Apartment set here from Cobalt for $129. It's got the hammer. It's a better hammer. It's definitely a far better hammer. Than, oh, you know what? This one's not as bad. I keep thinking about the one that I, I reviewed that they sent me a while back and had the little tiny hammer with the little metal shaft on it. You know that that head's going to break off at some point. That's not a bad hammer on that, as long as it's got a fiberglass handle or something similar kind of thing. Uh, and, oops, I jumped ahead here. Let me go back to it. Uh, if I could find it. There we go. Uh, we got a, a decent, you know, uh, you know, uh, utility knife, some scissors, some decent screwdriver. It's, it's an okay set. Now it's going to be a little bit short on the sockets because this is more of a homeowner set than a mechanic set. If that's what you're looking for. Anyway, it's on sale right now for 20 bucks off down to 129. All right. We're back over at the home Depot. We've got the, another Stanley set. This is their mechanic set. And you're going to note this, 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 this trifold kind of thing here is, is going to become a theme with some of these sets. Um, so anyway, this set here comes with, you get three of the ratchets with it. You get a pair of pliers, you get a, um, uh, some needle nose and you get uh, four of the screwdrivers. This is, this is going to be really uh, kind of remarkably similar to something we're going to show you a lot more filler in the, in the bits than in some of these other sets that I'm going to show you. This coming at 210 pieces there, you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the wrenches. That's kind of key. Anything below 10 is getting a little skimpy on the wrenches in my book. You get a utility knife, which is nice. Although I don't know any of us who don't have a pocket knife or a knife we keep in the truck anyway. Uh, but that's, I guess, again, I keep thinking about this as a truck box, which is the reason I bought mine. But anyway, $115 on that one. Now, 119 for this over at Lowe's. This is a Craftsman 215-piece kit. And I got to admit, I included this because of the nostalgia. The Red, bo the Red Craftsman bro box, that thing is a classic. It's been around forever. Is it the best set out there? Eh, probably not. At 215 pieces, it's a little on the low side. You only get two of the ratchets with it. You don't get any pliers. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, six wrenches with it. It's a little skimpy, but you get the bright red box. And let's be honest, we all want the bright red box. It's it's a beautiful box. <laughs> it says Craftsman on it. You got to want it. Uh, anyway, that's $119 at Lowe's. Back to Home Depot. This is an interesting set. So this is the Husky set. This is 270 piece. It's $129, okay? But this fits into the Husky stacking locking system. It comes with the middle box, and it comes with these trays that all stack into it there. That's pretty clever. I like that setup, especially if you are one of the people who are in that Husky line of boxes of storage. We talked about the storage recently. Uh, I was informed that they recently came out with a two drawer system. That's awesome for that line. That's definitely making you one maybe want to consider it a bit more. Um, and then having that set to go with it. That, that, that's, that says something at $129. I mean, think about it. You're basically buying the $100 set and then getting the box with it you know you're paying for the box separately i guess because i don't know anyway it, it's i think it's a compelling argument uh now next up we've got the the larger husky box this is now this is a standalone box again one thing i want to talk about with these boxes is that they come apart okay you can pull the pins out of this you could this top tray on this is all these kind of power cube kind of things the top tray comes out and all the other trays slide out and you can put them in your um in your uh, in your tool chest if you want to have them nice and organized they take up a little bit of space because they're a blow molded case but they keep everything organized and it's really easy when you open your drawer to look and go oh i'm missing my 10 millimeter it's gone and never be seen again i guess it went out for milk and never came back anyway let's take a look at the set here three of the ratchets 77 of the standard sockets again this is following uh now this is interesting the deep sockets is showing that some are 12 point and some are uh, are six points. So that's a little bit different. Uh, specialty sockets, 34, eight extensions, 14 wrenches, and 91 of the uh, the little, t you know, fiddly bits there. So it again, it's an interesting one. You know what also I like about this one is it seems to got a heavy locking thing on the front drawers, which on a lot of these, those drawers just slide in there and nothing locks it in place. Uh, you aren't going to want to get a Velcro strap or something to put around it if you're going to be moving this thing a lot. Because trust me, I've picked them up, had all the drawers come out, and got to pay play you know 200 piece pickup. It's not a fun game to play. Don't don't play that game. Anyway, 149 dollars on that. Now we're going to jump over to Amazon. 
and we're going to, this is kind of getting a little bit different here. So again, that trifold design, like we talked about before, Crescent, I looked at, I wanted to find stuff from Channel Lock, but all the Channel Lock stuff was so expensive in their kits. It just didn't make sense for a video like this, where you're looking for a best bang for the buck kind of box. And the, the Crescent 180 professional tool set, it, it's less than, than a lot of the other ones, but you're getting a lot of key tools. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're getting, what, 12 wrenches in there, a bunch of sockets. Again, this is also following the, the six point for the small shallows and the deep sockets and 12 point for the large shallows. You're getting four good screwdrivers. You're getting a one bit driver, a bunch of bits. You're getting a, a I guess I can call it a Crescent wrench because it's a Crescent wrench. Uh, you're getting a pair of needle nose, a pair of diagonal cutters, two ratchets, uh, a specialty socket. You're getting three extensions and a bunch of your hex keys there. In, in a case, and, I, and for this specific use, which I'm talking like a truck, a travel case, I kind of like it over the cube because the cube takes up a lot of volume. You can't really slide it into some place. Uh, I looked at this set and I really wanted to get the set. And when I bought the set, I did get, and I didn't get this set. <laughs> Shut up, Moto. I'm not talking to you. I didn't get this set um, because it wasn't available at the time, but I kind of did get this set and you'll understand why in a minute. So I like this one because you get the three ratchets with it and you get that, the, the tongue and groove pliers, AKA the channel lock pliers, because there's been cases where, like I had a flat tire in my trailer and it bent the uh, the fender down to the point where you couldn't, even if you replaced the tire, you couldn't drive it. And it's not the kind of thing with that kind of metal, you can just grab it and pull it out without slicing your hands up and having, and luckily I had a set of, a good set of pliers on me. You, there's things where you just need to grab it and you need to put some force behind it or something just doesn't fit. And having a good strong set of, of tongue and groove pliers is essential as a truck kind of toolbox. Um, so anyway, you, you get all, everything else you had in the other one, you don't get the diag cutters. And I don't really find that to be as big an issue for this style of box because those needle nose have wire cutters in them. So you already kind of have that. And again, everyone's got a knife or something on them as well. So that may not be such an issue. So I found this set. Now this is $181. I found this set that I actually bought, as you can see, I bought it uh, for $130. And as you can see, they're very similar sets. How similar? Let's say remarkably similar. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, they're sourcing them from the same company. Uh, I know now Channel Lock makes all their stuff, uh, or at least most of their stuff in-house in the U.S., Crescent, not so much anymore. Now, the good higher-end Crescent wrenches are made in the U.S., but if, if you look on, on the one that's here, it doesn't say made in the U.S., and as I said, if it's made in the U.S., they will shout it out. They'll call it, you know, from the top of the mountain. They'll, they'll let you know. This is obviously an outsourced, rebranded one, and I think we found somebody else doing the same thing from the same company, or it could be the same company, uh, but I could not find a remarkable difference between the two products. And at the time, the other one wasn't available, and it was listed at 180 bucks. This one was available at 130, and that's the one I got. And at the end of the video, once we talk about these other ones, we got to talk about. I'm gonna do a quick uh, overview, just showing you what's in the box. But let's uh, let's uh, jump over here. If you are really looking for, rather than an emergency box or just a what in case box, and you're looking for, I want to get started. Let's build a set from here box. That's what these next ones are going to be. We got the Milwaukee. You get the two pack here, the quarter inch and the three eighths. You're not getting the half inch, but for $148.97. I'm not a fan of the Milwaukee tools, not based off of quality, but based off of price and ergonomics. When they're on sale, they're not bad on sale. This is, you know, 7% off. It's, it's not the best sale out there. I wish it was a $99 sale. Maybe it should be. But the fact of the matter is, that uh, they're, they're decent quality uh, tools. They're definitely better quality than any of the stuff we've talked about before. And you're getting two sets in your, uh, and they're all six point. They're, and you're getting, you're, you're getting two different sets in your quarter and your three eighths. And, it, and honestly, for your half inch, you could go straight impact. Just go impact for your half inch to start with. Um, you can then add chrome as you need it or buy sets as you need them. Uh, next up, we've got the DeWalt. DeWalt makes an excellent set of tools. Again, I'm, 
Uh, I don't, I'm not as big fan of their ratchets, but again, that's an ergonomics thing, not really a quality kind of thing. They're okay. Uh, but this is a 247 piece set for $159. That's, that's a great starter set. Again, with both of these, you're not going to get all the, the other stuff. You're not going to get all the wrenches and the pliers and stuff like that. This is a truly a mechanic set and starting to build your, your tool collection. Another option. Now, this is great. This kind of throws back to the Husky box. This is the Tough System version of that Husky box. You're getting the three trays and you're getting the box, but this goes with the Tough Stack system. So I think it's the Tough Stack. This might be the T Stack. Nope, Tough System. Now, this is Tough System 1, not Tough System 2. So bear that in mind. Uh, 226 piece. This is a nice set. Again, this is going to be all six points as far as I was able to determine. You're not going to, you do get some wrenches, not very many wrenches with that. Uh, but it's mostly a socket and a ratchet set. And next up, we got the gear wrench. This is their 232 piece kit and it is $200. It's a hundred dollars off though. It's 33% off. Uh, and this is an excellent set. You get the, uh, the soft grip uh, ratchets in the three eighths in the half inch. You're getting a bunch of sockets. You're getting a bunch of bit drivers with that. I love that. You're getting some of the fiddly bits, but they come in their nice little own box and stuff like that. The ratchets, uh, the I'm oh, sorry, the, yeah, you get two ratchets. We talked about that, but the the wrenches are ratcheting. They're gear wrench uh, ratcheting wrenches. That is not something you're seeing in any other box. Um, it's probably a slightly better box than some of the other ones you're getting. Uh, several trays. They're nice trays. They do a little bit of wasted space in the trays, but you know, again, it's going to really help with organization and knowing whether something's gone missing or not. Uh, th this is a fantastic set, but it's two hundred dollars, so it's a real jump up. Now, there's some all uh, two. I got to mention they're not on sale right now. The Craftsman. This is one that works with the Versa Stack system. It's got a. It's got a decent selection of tools. It's two hundred sixteen pieces. Um, it's kind of skimpy on the wrenches. You do get three of the ratchets. It's not the best tools out there, but if you're in the versus stack, you're looking for a home gaming system, wait on this. It will go on sale. I I'm willing to bet uh, money on that, that this is going to be part of a, a, one of the bigger black Friday sales. I think Lowe's is holding back a little bit more than home Depot is. And then over at Menards, I just also have to mention that they do have a set and it currently does have the 90 or is it the 11% mail in rebate. Uh, it takes it down to 177 for a 220 piece set. Anyway, let's go back and let's take a look at the Apollo set. I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of that and you just take a look at that. All right, so let's take a look with the Apollo real quick. So the problem with this is trying to open these tabs up front. You can't just reach up and open them. You have to come up underneath. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not easy to do. Pop them like that. A little bit easier. But if the worst thing is getting your tabs unopened. Okay, I haven't adjusted this, I haven't set everything up. We'll take a look at the blow mold. This moved a little, this one moved a tiny bit more. Get you in place. All the wrenches. Some things moved a little bit, but they stayed in their place. So that is a good thing. As you can see, we've used this a little bit here. It's not the cleanest thing. Actually, I think it's more from packing oils than anything else. So this is the Apollo. This is your standard needle nose. See, you got your wire cutters in there. Are they, are they great? They're not great. Are they decent? They're decent enough for emergency use or for a starter set. I can see that. Now, this is the one thing I wanted to have is a decent set of, well, channel locks, but we call them tongue and groove, don't we? So, as I said, they look, they're not polished. That's the way they come out. Wipe them down a little bit. They look, eh, marginally better. The lights are making them look worse than they really are, to be honest. But like, you look at this, this is not a, a perfectly, you know, forged seam or something there. It's, you know, casting marks. It, these are not, you know, pretty tools or anything like that. As far as the ratchets, it's a big ratchet. 
it, it, it's a it's a fat headed ratchet. Feels fairly smooth. As far as well, that's a three quarters go something bigger. There you go. Now the sockets themselves, sockets are okay. We we'll get your chrome vanadium three quarter. And it is a 12 point socket. I often find in many of these sets that the uh, the deeps are often six points rather than 12s. So if you got some real torque to put on something, you put on, let's see this one, that's a 12. Um, looks like one of the smaller ones. And again, a six point. So the, the deeps are, uh, are six point, the, and the smaller, shallows are six point. That's not unheard of. Let's look at the wrenches. The wrench, and yeah, it's a clean looking wrench. It's not got the best chrome on it. You can see, looks like minor scratchings or imperfections in the chrome, but again, this is not a trying to see how good it looks kind of thing. It's will it work in an emergency? Yeah, it should work. Getting it back into the case. That's another issue. Um, you got one, two, three, four extensions, and you got an adapter. Uh, take it from a three quarter to a quarter inch. You do have a quarter inch wrench with this. Nice tiny little thing. You got a little bit of filler here, a little bit of filler here, but you got some regular screwdrivers. So you got decent. These are these are decent. You can get some force behind them. They're not bad. Um, and then you have, as a catch-all, you've got your bit driver. Okay, you got an adjustable wrench for anything that doesn't. And the nice thing about this adjustable wrench is it's reversible, so you can use it either way. You got your bits down here, nothing to write home. This whole set is a whole lot of nothing to write home about, but it's good enough. And it's got the essentials, probably more than the essentials you need for a travel emergency kit. Helps if you lock it into place. Make sure everything's locked down. Anyway, you all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.